and welcome to my workspace. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna take you through the process of how I created these awesome Beatles stencil art. Uh, this little psychedelic set of uh, combination of stencils and paint. Uh, it was heaps of fun to make and I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, make sure you subscribe and let me know in the comments if you got anything that you wanna see. Cherry red. We don't want to rely on it, you know, so much. Like, you know, lots of paint, and lots of tissue with the brush leaks underneath the bed, spray paint to go on top. So, you know, they end up being it's obviously the most interesting part with the texture underneath and then the, you know, the, the paint coat of spray paint on top. It stops them from being so flat. Alright, 
around the bits of it. Uh, play the kiss pops. Play the cello bit as well. Get some really nice kind of fits. That Get another layer on that, I reckon. So, I want to make a quick psychedelic wave to use over top of the bass that I've already got going. So, let's just roughly draw it in here. About a quarter of the canvas. So I want to leave myself a little bit of room. So. so I think that's not bad, actually. I'll probably go a little bit older, give myself a little bit of room. And you know, this will be the part that we cut out. I usually just like to do a bit of a guide and then I just let the blade do the work in the end. So let's just see what we get here.
that. That'll do the job. So, I've completed our stencil and I've got my four base canvases here, which, you know, we've gone for a little bit of a Abbey Road psychedelic type of thing. I've got my Beatles stencils that I'll bring in a little bit later. So, first off, what I want to do is just size these up. I'm just going to go from the center out to the edge. And I think I'll weld them around each corner. Like so. It'll help give a whole kind of spiral effect to the whole thing. So, there's my stencil. I've got my colors selected. I'm going to go with the pink on the purple here. No, sorry, the, the pink on the darker red. And then I'll use the cherry red here on the purple and blue. So we'll get these to shake up, we'll get it uh, masked up and we'll, uh, we'll knock a couple of them over. We'll do it two at a time and then I'll have to let the stencil dry, flip it over and we'll do the reverse on these two here. So let's see how they go. Respirator out. You gotta use one, uh, it makes such a difference. That's all right. Let's see how we go. Okay, so these are dry, stencils dry. We're now able to flip it over, and now we're going to do our next part, which is going to be in the pink. And uh, get this one and this one, and see how that starts to look. 
see what other uh, features that we can bring into it, but we'll see how we go. Always a risk because you'll lose a little bit of paint underneath and masking it out. But that is what it is. I mean, this is just background. I always talk about you know, keeping it loose. Um, make sure the work is not too just stale or sterile, you know. I don't mind the errors. Like that. Okay. So, uh, these guys are going to be in gold. Um, so, let's get our let's get the can ready. And get these fairly universal. Got a little bit of a jig. A little bit of a frame just to help tighten the overspray. I could probably mask it up a bit more, but you know, too much masking tape often you can end up damaging the. Uh, Damaging the work below. So, got a little frame there. Let's just get our mask on and get into it.
Okay, so I thought I'd just uh, bring it in nice and close and give you a bit of a reveal. Uh, I missed it out on the end of the last video, so let's uh, pull them off. Let's start off with Ringo. Lovely. George. Oh, oh, here he goes. Yeah. Uh, old mate John Lennon. Is that looking pretty good? Put the gold on there. I think we probably need to bring in some other elements and maybe share this pink and red. I think I've got some uh, some roses that might look pretty good actually uh, in there just to bring in a bit, another bit of a texture. And I've got another little sun piece that might work in there as well. Um, and then we'll see. I'm halfway thinking about a little yellow submarine, so uh, we might have another stencil to cut and we'll um, bring in a couple more elements. So anyway, all right, well, let's get set up and we might do these roses. Okay, so I'm ready to put these roses on. Uh, I've got two rose stencils that I've cut out before. Uh, you can see they've had a fair bit of work. So these were just... Uh, taken from some online images and then uh, traced out and, and cut out. So I might do another video on uh, how to make these because they're so good. I mean, I always find myself whacking them in and, and using them for texture on different pieces. So I've got good mileage out of these. Um, I think I'm going to use this one with these leaves here. So I think the idea is I'm going to keep this you know, uniform circle thing going and we'll come in from the corner like that. And likewise from here, trying to make sure we get this little central part of the rose and these leaves coming down that way. And I think that'll do the job for us. So that's the go there. So um, I don't usually, you know, mask up too much with these little pieces, you know. Um, I try to, but again, you know, you've got to keep it got to keep it fast and loose basically <laughs> so look you get a bit of overspray but you just live with it or you find a place to do it if you're really worried about it you mask it up sometimes I'll um you know I might mask it on there and use a little frame like this to um, stop the overspray uh, actually I might do that on on this here let's, let's just mask it on it does make a difference so sometimes it's worth taking the extra time coming over John. So, let's go with the pink. Now you love the sound of that. Alright, enough talk, let's get into it. bad actually not bad just start to bring that pink in and then when I do the same on these ones with the darker red again that will bring that whole set together I 
All right. Got to remember the egg. Stencil's dry. Time to do these other ones in the red. Okay, so I'm gonna bring a little yellow submarine into this Beatles piece. It's not a big piece, I mean, you see my hand here, but there's not a lot of room there. But so I need to work out which pieces I'm gonna cut out and which pieces uh, I won't for uh, this little classic piece. So, um, you know, like these little manhole cover these little windows here you know they'll, they'll come out so I need to find a way to keep those in um, and you know, think about which parts I'm going to do to be able to Jazz 
surface of the marine. Submarine. I think that's what it'll end up doing, but I might do a little test just with the silver as well because it may end up being a little silver feature. It's another little line around the bottom here just to wrap it up so I'll let that sit and then we'll come back and work on it some more so after much deliberation the, uh, the test submarines not so good didn't, didn't it was doing too much All right so I'm gonna go back and use this other little this little piece that we had before and just bring in a final little tweak and I think that'll be enough and I'll probably bring that silver back into it so I think that's the path forward so let's get into it Last bit's done, and they've really come together good. Nice psychedelic feel, lots of light catches that 
gold and silver as we move across. Okay. Job done.